So welcome back guys. In this lecture, we'll discuss uh, not about the subject but uh, how to do the usage of calculator. So many people are finding difficulty to use the calculator. So, so, uh, so in general, I'll explain the how to use the calculator. What are the sums will you obtain here is, so what is, the, there is no, nothing difference between uh, uh, the first unit which you learned about um, the mesh analysis, node analysis, and current division rule, voltage division rule, source transformation techniques, all the things are applicable in AC steady state analysis also. So only thing you will be occurred is, I said, in DC, we'll have uh, no frequency that is uh, omega, omega equal to zero, but in AC, you will have uh, a culprit that is omega will be there. Okay, so due to this omega only, the impedances across every element that is the reactances we call will be changes. You will find the reactance of inductor that is a J omega L which is a J form and Xc as 1 by J omega C. You substitute all these values. If you know the frequency of the supply and you know the value voltage here, but if you know the frequency of supply in hertz, you will convert it into radians per second. This is uh, all the algorithm, just a uh, protocol or so algorithm is equal. So omega equal to 2 pi f. If you get the 2 pi f omega value, substitute in Excel and Xc in each individual values and uh, make simple on the analysis that is if there are, uh, if this, these two are in parallel, you will do parallel and all the things, rest of the things you know. And finally, you will be getting a value of Z. Okay. So for example, I take my values, for example, uh, resistor and inductor and combine with the parallel capacitor. So I take the value of the capacitor is minus 3j, impedance value, this is 2 and this is 4, 4j. Okay, why this 4j and 3j minus j, you can, you will be know that. Okay. Now what happening here is we need to find Z equivalent that is this box. I am come I am connected one source here. So I find I want to find Z equivalent that is the equivalent uh, voltage impedance seeing across this terminal. Okay. Now what I am doing is these two things are in series. That means this I need to make this as series. So for that reason, first I need to add these two. So simply what you will do is, you will keep one box here, you will add 2 plus 4G, okay, over. This in parallel with minus 3G, okay, we need to find a Z, e Z uh, equivalent, that is impedance seeing across this terminal. So what is the source want, what is the total impedance it is connected to know the current developed by this source okay we want to find the current developed our agenda is to find current develop so to find the current develop we are least bothered about what are the elements are connected here but we are most bothered about the total impedance connected by the to the source so in this manner we'll do this after getting this we have to do is this 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 is one impedance let us say this is z1 and let us say this is Z2 impedance. So the Z equivalent will be equal to Z1 into Z2 by Z1 plus Z2. Okay. So for solving this, so Z1 is 2.4J. You already know that. And Z2 is minus 3J by 2 plus 4J minus 3J. Okay. Now what we'll do is, we'll take the calculator and straight away go to mode. In that mode, you will have a, one is a common cam, com, com, COMP means uh, computation and two is a complex thing and three is stat, four base and n, five equations. So in the circuits, we need a, a one, two and five only. So for doing a, a AC analysis, when J operate is operating, so that the complex things, we straight away opt for 2 that is we are entering into the complex mode now at this junction what you have to do is 
it is in the numerator and denominator form so going to this numerator and denominator form in this open the bracket so write away 2 plus 4 to get j we will have i value that is j is in this calculator it is i you, sum, you simply keep i and close the bracket and again open the bracket and keep minus 3 j i ok then coming to no 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 not means if you place this method means you get numerator and open the bracket 2 plus 4 i minus 3 i and just close this and give the equivalent button and you'll if you get if you do equivalent means you'll get 18 by 5 minus 24 by 5 j this is again we have to normalize this that is s equal to d you have to play, sub, click and you'll get 3.6 minus 4.8 j this is total equivalent uh, uh, impedance seen by the source which is in uh, rectangle form ok so rectangle form means so this is uh, in the rectangle form a value ok now we will got this rectangle form now we need this in polar form so how we will do in the polar form so now to get this rectangle term to polar form that means polar means phase and angle will be there you know that so we need to do is you have to press shift and 2 option so here the shift and 2 means you will have a, a different com there is one is argument and the second is arg and second is conjunct and third is a phase and a polar form this is the r means a phase of that uh, rectangle that is z equivalent equal to what you already know that uh, phase you should get means 3.6 a square plus minus 4.8 whole square hypotenuse that is the rectangle thing ok so a b there so z means if a plus j b means to get uh, z what the phase magnitude value what you will do z equal to root or a square plus b square in this case we got a minus b form that is uh, this is a will be in this form minus means we will get ne negative so this b1 so this is the form so we need to find z so here the z is a square plus b square minus the that the phase z uh, to get this take but get so this is the rectangle form you got you directly want it to convert to uh, polar form that means you will directly what you will do you will click 3 so you will getting equal at that so what you will get this is 6 in the angle of 53.13 that means this calculating this value you will get directly 6 and to get this angle that is uh, tan inverse of b by a that is uh, minus 4.8 by 3.6 then you will get this angle ok this is the basic science behind this so for the getting this 6 value let us say drew 3.6 whole square plus minus 4.8 whole square you will get the value of 6 and uh, for tan inverse of uh, minus 4.8 minus 4.8 divided by 3.6 which gives a value of minus 53.6 okay this is a polar and this is a angle so the phase is 6 and the angle is minus 53.16 so now we'll do one by one uh, for a simplification let us say this is 2 plus 3j i need to find this is rectangle form I need to get into the polar form so simply do is 2 plus 3 i and equal at that this is your the water that you kept you just came and now we need to transfer this into polar form the shift 2 you keep and you'll have a multiple applications in that third one is a polar form simply do the 3 and you equal at means you will be getting this rectangle form 
and this is a polar form that is 13 into the angle of 5.3 okay and similarly for uh, minus 2 plus 4 j means so simply what you will do minus 2 plus 4 i equal it uh, and a shift of 2 you will get uh, I get 3 so that is an egg normal it means you will get 4.47 at an angle of 116.56 and now again the main thing is I want to explain one thing is in general uh, if you keep uh, if we type minus 2 for example so I want to find this is a, I'm taking this is a, a polar form okay I need to convert into a rectangle form okay what how will do minus 2 at an angle of 30 degrees what happening is you are getting math error why this you are getting math error means in general minus if I do minus in bracket with 2 at an angle of 30 degrees I am getting what if I do like this means I am getting what minus root 3 minus i so if I do 2 of 3 30 that means 2 at an angle of 30 I will get a value of rectangle thing minus 3 point but these two things the phase is common but the sign is changing okay by keeping minus 2 while calculating this 30 we are getting math error that means in this the, the phase that means root of minus 3 whole square minus plus minus 1 you will get an angle of positive value 2 only but in in doing this uh, we are keeping negative value that's why we are getting math error but if you keep negative and keeping the bracket that means you are giving a, a phase of 2 only then you will get this exact value so make sure that while cutting the big things so in the middle of the whole problem you will be absorbed this math error only because in spite of keeping you will forgot to keep the bracket across this negative thing so you need to keep directly don't keep negative of the polar form okay you will get math error in spite of that negative and bracket of 30 something or you should keep to get a good error good answers okay always make to sure to keep the brackets and solve okay so one more thing mm, okay guys in the next class we'll straight away solve a few problems and uh, we'll uh, I'll, a couple of videos will make in a crisp manner thank you guys